Hello and welcome to the Student Hub Live Refreshers Orientation event, Wheel of Ologies Quiz. This is unashamedly my favourite part of the day, where we have two teams of staff and students, and uh, we're going to play against you guys at home. And HJ is in charge of Team Home today, I hear everyone's getting ready. We're very excited and very ready. Uh, Anna does think that the odds are a bit unfair, as there are quite a few of us in the chat, but it's just because we're very collaborative and we have a lot of teamwork here. But you can join in using the widget just to the left of your screen or put the answers in the chat and we'll all work together and I'm sure we'll beat the uh, studio teams yet again. Well, you have that in your favour, HJ, but one thing you don't is uh, a robust and reliable method of scoring. This is where Team Home always <laughs> falls down, is that no one keeps score or knows anything about how well they're doing. So it just undermines the credibility of the argument that Team Home win. Anyway, um, I must introduce you to Dave Rothery, our quiz master with Emotus and professor of planetary geosciences. We've been uh, showing your uh, space uh, thing that Caroline gave us from uh, OU Broadcast. And also we've got some colleagues talking about Mercury tonight. Not your favourite planet, but... Uh... Mercury is my favourite planet. <laughs> are, are you sure they're not going to go. talk about Mars? Oh, Mars, sorry. <laughs> Long day, Dave, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That one that's not your favourite planet, yeah. One in nine chance. Yeah. One in eight. <laughs> okay, it's about to start. <laughs> Dave, how does the quiz work? Quite well, usually. <laughs> Well, there's a yep. first for everything. for everything. My glamorous assistant yeah. will spin the wheel to uh, decide which category of quiz, and I will read a question out, and you at home should see it on the screen. And it's multiple choice, so the answer's going to be either A, B, C, or D. I'll read out the answers. Oh, no, I won't. I'll read out the questions. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, as, as soon as I'm in the studio, as soon as you have worked out where it's A, B, C or D, hit your buzzer and um, you'll get a chance to answer. If you don't get it right, there's no penalty, but it goes to the other team. And they'll have a chance of one in three of getting it right rather than one in four. And from time to time, I'll offer bonuses and so on. <laughs> um, so that's, that's the rules. And you at home, well, HJ is going to work out whether you've got the right answer at home or not. So... I, I reckon we should do it on a card vote rather than a show of hands, but uh, we'll, we'll see. Well, Tanya says less talky-talky, more quizzy-quizzy. OK, well, <laughs> so we introduce so the teams let's introduce the, the teams. On, on my left, we have the uh, wingers, so please introduce yourself. Uh, I'm Simon, and I've just finished TM470, which, when I pass, will be the end of my degree. Okay. And your captain? Ha -ha. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't know. I'm, I'm Finley, and I've just started my final module, which is A363 Advanced Creative Writing. Hi, and I'm Patrice, and I am in my final year. I'm doing, I'm doing T317, which is the final design project. So yeah, that's pretty much me. So this <laughs> is a student team. This is a team of students, which. I've never chaired before. Mm -hmm. Students versus staff, so it's going to be interesting. Last year, they were all students. Other people working here. <laughs> anyway, getting, you're, you're riding for a fall there, Michelle. <laughs> uh, the wingers, please, can we hear your buzzer bell thing? Hoot, hoot. OK. And on my right, it's OU Madge. Please introduce yourselves. Hello, I'm Andrew. I'm a student experience manager for business and uh, law. And your captain? I am Michelle Pride. I am the head of student experience in the Faculty of Business of Law, but I'm also a student, so when we lose, when we lose, <laughs> I'm going to the student team. <laughs> Hello, my name's John, and I'm an alcoholic. <laughs> Sorry, I got the wrong meeting there. Um, my name's John, and I'm a student experience manager in the business school. And your buzzer. Oh, your buzzer, please. <laughs> OK, so we've got a Mr Toad kind of poop-poop sound and a bell on the right. And very briefly, what does your name mean? Well, we are a right royal pain in thee. Oh, you right. oh, mad. <laughs> but we are Michelle, Andrew and John. Ah, I see. But very not clever. in that order. But not in that order at the desk, no. Yeah. 
And I misheard the team's name. It's the Wingers, Anna. It's the the wingers. wingers. We are winging. We're, We're literally are winging. winging. We've, been winging it. <laughs> We've been winging it since level one. Yes. <laughs> Aren't we all? <laughs> and it succeeded this far. <laughs> Great. Shall we make a I start? Think, please, spin and, uh, that let's wheel. let's explain what some of these oranges are as we well, go through. Well, I'll explain them when they come up. Oh, beginning with agnotology. Agnotology is... The, is it the science of ignorance? It's about I ignorance, so, anyway. Yeah. And we can always ask people at home who can look it up for us. They, <laughs> they're not going to find ninjology on Google no, word won't. search of it. So the no, first... I think we should patent that. The first <laughs> agnotological question, fingers on buzzers, Fortune cookies originate from which country? Is it A, the USA? Is it B, Japan? Is it C, China? Or is it D, France? We're going with that this is a trick question. A, USA. No. They were brought into the US around the 1890s, but they originated somewhere else. One and three. <laughs> Which one's that? China. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just deciding whether I agree or not. Yes, yes, see. You think it's China? Yes, we do. How are they doing at home, HJ? We had a little bit of a split. Uh, Libby and Ross were no. thinking China. Uh, Tristan and Samantha were thinking A as well, USA, and um, David and Chris reckon B. So we're, we're not quite decided on what our official answer is yet from Team Home. Well, it's about time they made their mind up if they want the point. <laughs> You've given me three options there. <laughs> uh, Louise, the Louise reckons it's just a trick and it's Japan. So should we go with that one? <laughs> it is indeed Japan. Oh, very good. Fortune cookies originated in 19th century Japan. And were brought to the US, as I said, around the 1890s. So no points. So no Team points. Home have to no keep points, track points in the there. studio. And, and if, if at home you haven't seen the questions, Not you just China, need to refresh Japan. your browser as well, and then they should appear for you. Okay. So with the score at nil nil. Oh. <laughs> 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 Wait, get a <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> Laura thought it was Europe, but that wasn't an option. So, so <laughs> pan pan pantology, pantology, I think, is about. Everything, or yeah, anything, yeah. isn't it? Yes. Not <laughs> pants. No. No. <laughs> or, or, or cooking implements. <laughs> um, your first pantological question. What was Buzz Aldrin's first name? Oh. 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 <laughs> oh. A, B, C, or D? Oh. <laughs> oh. oh. I should have warned you about this. <laughs> Always happens. <laughs> a. Yeah. And was tell definitely. us what you think A is. Um. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. A. Jackie. <laughs> well, the full question to OU Madge. What was Buzz Aldrin's real way. name? A. Dwight. B. Edwin. C. Robert. D. Christopher. B. Edwin. It was indeed. We don't have to ding because we're don't one we? and three. Oh. Right. Yeah, well, they got it wrong. Got it wrong. Oh, oh, right. Still, it's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it's um, you might get a cup of tea, you never know. <laughs> so, <laughs> does, I, for, for, for a bonus, a one point bonus. Is that just for us? No, no so I'd rather you. For, Whoever on the buzzer, whoever can get it in first, if you know the answer. Um, why was Edwin Aldrin known as Buzz? It's because his brother couldn't say brother, so he said Buzzer. And so his parents decided to call him Buzz as a nickname. Basically, yes. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, a point each, isn't it? No? Point each. Oh, how exciting. And at home. <laughs> well, with that at home, uh, Chris Allen Lee got straight in there with Edwin. Ross as well. And Maxwell said, Edwin, I know this one for sure. And collectively, I think we made it. We've, uh, I think we all agreed with that one. OK, good. <laughs> Excellent. What a shame that... Presumably you knew it was Edwin, but... No, you... no, I thought it was Jackie. No, I'm, just, I'm kidding. I knew it was Edwin. Make that mistake again. 
<laughs> oh, <laughs> please. Let's go again. Agnotology. Have we had this yet? Yeah, yeah. we have. OK. We have. Well, don't this, is a next time. this is a science of ignorance. <laughs> yes. OK, your second agnotological question. Cinco de Mayo is a Mexican celebration of what? Sit on your hands like me. That's it. Wow. But, you're but, not doing it right. You're that's doing what it right. these are for. Yeah. <laughs> Patrice, did you know that Open University's motto is learn and live? <laughs> <laughs> I think I need what to go back to school then. <laughs> A, B, C, or D. Go on then. Uh, 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 wait, wait. C. Don't <laughs> do Um... Show it to the camera so they can share in your <laughs> disgrace. <laughs> no, that's the wrong answer, sorry. <laughs> Full question to oh, OU Madge. Oh, Cinco de Mayo is a Mexican celebration of what? Is it A, a victory over the French, B, Independence Day, C, cuisine, or D, those who have died? D, those who have died. No, that's Dia de Muertos. Ooh, Ooh. then it's the victory. Well, you, you, you <laughs> can't do that. <laughs> well, that's actually B, Independence Day. Well, no I'm point to happen. either side. The answer's <laughs> A, a, vi a victory over the, the French. That's the one I meant, the victory, yeah. <laughs> Uh, did, did they know that at home? Or are they claiming to have known that well, at home? Well, I didn't really know it, to be honest. But uh, Tanya, Mary and Brett, they were straight in there. Um, uh, Haley says it was a Mexican war over the French Empire. Um, and uh, Paul gives us more information. Uh, the Battle of Puebla against the French. Is this the one they celebrate by hitting toy donkeys full of sweets? I don't know, but I like that idea. <laughs> it's a pinata, no. Yeah, a pinata, isn't that? Don't we do it on Independence Day or French Someone victory? Someone will tell us for sure. Yes. <laughs> they, they'll be Googling at home. Wife if it was Mexican, the French, I'd be hitting them with baguettes, so I don't think it is. <laughs> OK. So nothing was scored here, so is it still yeah. one all? Oh, well, that's good, because I'm not very good at keeping the scores, and I think some of the numbers are in the wrong yeah. order, so... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, we better score some points just to discomfort Karen. Well, where are we going now? We're not going agnotology. Oh, ninjology. Ninjology. Mm. These are, study of ninjas. These are, these are for <laughs> study of ninjas, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Out of the following, which of these countries is the smallest? Ooh. Is it A, Gibraltar? Is it B, Tuvalu? Is it C, Monaco? Or is it D, San Marino? <laughs> Are you mad? C. C, Monaco. Yes, correct. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Um, for bonus, for either of you, fingers on buzzers, which of those four is not the country? D. Oh, well, you told me D when we said D, so we've got to go with D. No, it's that San Marino, which is going to be... Hey. <laughs> Fair enough, go on then. Gibraltar. <laughs> yes, Gibraltar's not a country. Yeah. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> well, that's a point earned either side again, okay. isn't it? Well, there <laughs> um, uh, it's not the smallest anyway. G Monaco's 2.02 square kilometres. Gibraltar's six square kilometres. I don't know why the first one's quoted to three significant figures and the second to only one significant figure, but there you go. <laughs> That's science. Tuvalu, uh, 26, <laughs> and San Marino, 61 square kilometres. Libby says, what about the Vatican, Vatican City? Mm. Well, possibly, but it's which, of, uh, which on this list is the smallest. Oh, right, it's right. not the that, smallest that, country in the world. Point, <laughs> I wonder, is, uh, is the Vatican less than two square kilometres? <laughs> Libby? It's there or thereabouts. <laughs> anyway. What does Libby say about that, then? Uh, 
Well, Libby does say only the Vatican is the actual smallest, but like Dave said, it was out about this. But um, <laughs> to be honest, we, I think we have to concede that point on Team Home because we were just split with uh, between Monaco and San Marino. So <laughs> some of us are obviously geography students or really good at our pub quizzes, and others are probably just with me and uh, have to take random guesses. <laughs> so Vatican City, I've heard, is like just half a square kilometre, which is tiny. Really? Yeah. But it is on the list, so that's that. Right, shall we see our next uh, question? Let's have another question, please. Oh. A real ology. I love it. <laughs> oh. Etymology is um, a study of words, or the ology of words. I was given an etymological dictionary at school. Nice. What did you do with it? <laughs> Still got it. <laughs> I've, looked, I've, looked it I've looked at words in it. Uh, OK. <laughs> Uh, which one of these words was added to the Oxford English Dictionary in 2018? This is a new words question. Who? Is it A, dance off? Is it B, champing? Is it C, hyperloop? Or is it D, hangry? D, hangry. Yeah, can you tell me what that means? It means how you get angry when you're hungry, and my parents will tell you it describes me perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. They always carried a banana with them for me. Which word? <laughs> <laughs> well, when did they introduce Omni Shambles? That was year, word of the year, wasn't it? Oh, no, this yeah. isn't word of the year, but she's adding to Lots of English Dictionary. Yeah. It's about 2012. Yeah, OK. Right, so what are we now? Three, well, two. We're three, two. Now, did no. they know that hangry is at home? I bet everyone was straight in there with uh, Hangry from Tala, Tanya, Luke, Mary, Ross, Louise, Nicola and Paul. So I think it's because everyone just gets a bit like that, especially when studying. So we know what that's like. We're experts on being hangry. <laughs> <laughs> but somebody down the corridor for me has got a mug that says, I'm sorry for what I said when I was hangry. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I think we all knew that as students. <laughs> right, let's spin the wheel. No. Zoology. Zoology. That's the ology of zoos. And we've had lots of cute cat pictures and dogs and rats and parrots sent in to us today. Have you? Yep. Students have been sending them in. They've been making me really happy. <laughs> well, real animals or pictures? They're or study buddies. Oh, no, <laughs> no, <laughs> pictures. Oh, okay. You can't. No, actually, you're not allowed to send real animals. I tried to bring my okay. dog once. No. <laughs> <laughs> A group of grasshoppers, sorry, a group of grasshoppers is called a what? Is it a cloud? Is it b swarm? Is it c smack? Or is it d intrusion? C smack. A smack of grasshoppers. No. Sounded good. A. A what? And what is A? It's a swarm, isn't it? <laughs> Fortunately for you, is A is cloud, <laughs> and, and that is the correct answer. <laughs> 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 That's what he meant. Yes. <laughs> I will dump cloud in later. <laughs> <laughs> Shame it's live. So I, I wondered lonely as a cloud of grasshoppers. <laughs> uh, swarm is bees. Oh, right. Bonus time. <laughs> what for? What uh, is a smack? The collective oh, noun. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> a gaggle. An insect. Ponies. What's the long sticky stick insect? Stick insect. Stick insect. A smack of stick insects. No. If only we had Google up here in the studio. <laughs> <laughs> Flies. No. Oh, that's a good guess, though. Shall I give you Should the phylum? Mm. Yes, please. Silenterata. Oh, oh, I was yeah, just going to yeah. say that. <laughs> <laughs> that's the phylum, but not the... Mm. So, Silenterata. Which are come, on, as... come on, come on! Come on, Ross Paxman, I've been really. Libby and Ross have a guess. <laughs> okay, what's Libby and Ross's guess? Libby and, Groff, uh, and Ross uh, are guessing jellyfish. They are oh, right, they can have yeah. a bow. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense, actually. And anyone who's come across one in the sea would say that's an entirely appropriate <laughs> collective term. And a murder? 
Oh, crows. Crows, yeah. yes. A murder Do of I crows. get a bonus? Point? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, and if you're if you're interested in an intrusion, is collective noun for no no points? Anybody know? No Cockroaches. Oh, oh, that makes sense. That does make sense. <laughs> and a collective term for students. A gaggle. <laughs> 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 right, I'm up to it. We're all quits on the points, aren't we? We're all. Yeah. Okay. Spin that wheel. Oh, oh zoology. Zoology. Yeah. Okay. I hope it's not another collective noun of animals. Ah, which of the following wild cats is native to Africa? Is it A, panther? Is it B, mountain lion? Is it C, serval, or is it D, cougar? C, he said serval, and you're saying something different. What are we going to go with? Well, you're going to go with C, serval. C, serval. Correct. Did you know oh. that, or is it just your reactions are letting you down? <laughs> <laughs> um, we, we knew that, but we just thought they looked like like. We need to. Now, okay, all right. Um, <laughs> so you've got a point, a bonus point. Um, what connects the three others, which um, um, are not the correct answer? A, a, a panther, mountain lion, and cougar. What do they have in common? They're all prides. Nope. Is it to do with where they're from? Are they, are they all from Eurasia? No, they're not. They're all from the Americas, and in fact, they're all the same animal. A panther, a mountain lion, and a cougar are the same oh, thing. Yeah. Yeah. I did not know You were about that. to say that. He said... <laughs> <laughs> well, he said Americas, but my surname's Pride, so I had to go with the Pride of... OK. Yeah. Did they get serval at home, HJ? Well, uh... We know that Luke's from Africa. He let us know in the chat. So, uh, and he got that right as well. Um, a lot of people got serval, but um, I didn't really get any of them. I, I'm no good at this. But um, <laughs> I have been told that someone in the chat, uh, Ross's best friend is a marine biologist. Apparently, she tells him everything. So, uh, Ross got a bit of advantage on zoology here. Well, I've done all right on the jellyfish, but I don't think serval's <laughs> <swim>. <laughs> Servals, is it a lynx-like thing? It's quite a small, it's a small wild, mm. small, a small big cat. Yeah. Well, we're more than halfway through, Dave, oh, and we're not doing particularly oh, well on the old not. point. I, I might to have to say... The Spaniards found a connection. They all have four legs. Does <laughs> 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 she get a point for that? No. 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 They are all five. It's a pride of. Pantology. That's everything. Yeah. <laughs> In the Odyssey... How do Odysseus and his men escape from Polyphemus? Is it A, they blind him with a stake? Is it B, they sneak out at night? Is it C, they use a man... We didn't mean to hear C or D. I was going to say by parachute, but... <laughs> so I got that wrong. <laughs> <laughs> well, is it A, B, C or D? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> my, my parachute. More, more question. So this is in the Odyssey, set in Homeric Greek times. But the Greeks were very advanced. Well, right. A, blind him with a stake. B, sneak out at night. C, use a man as bait. Or D, they push Polyphemus off a ledge. Yeah. Well, what is A? Blind him with a stake. Yeah. yeah, they stick a poke him in the eye with a sharp stick. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sharp, yeah. not a piece of meat. <laughs> 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 do, do, do you know how they, they sent me the questions in advance? Yeah, yeah. And there were, this, there were two typos in this one. And it was, they, it was written, they bind him with a snake. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It's a, it's I got him to change it. It's a Homer, Homer. It's one of them epics, so it could have been. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Weird so, stuff happens in these Greek uh, dramas. So, I mean, he's, he's a cyclops, isn't he? A one eyed giant. And Odysseus yeah. and his men, who were captured by him, get him drunk. But in the night, they blind him with a stake. Later, escaping by strapping themselves to the underside of, a, of sheep. That's right, because he. He was a he was a shepherd, and he, he, he can't. Well, after he was blind, he counted his sheep out by repeating along their backs. Ah. And the dishes and his merry men were sort of clinging on underneath. Is that why you Polyphemus count sheep? Perhaps. He, he, well, they could have just left him to fall asleep, couldn't they? Mm. Counting his sheep, and gone out <laughs> when he was napping. 
Uh, did they know that at home? Blinding <laughs> with a stake? A, a lot of people did. Um, apart from me and Louise, we did. We just had no idea. Blinding with a stake. <laughs> <laughs> we had no idea when it came to those questions. But, um, <laughs> but, that's it. but um, uh, Gillian says uh, those creeks were a bit hardcore, weren't they, with what they were writing about? And um, uh, Athanasia adds uh, they did it when he was drunk. And uh, she did uh, classical studies a long time ago in school, yeah. so she's had that knowledge for a while. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Four. So we're four. Okay. Luke says he hopes the steak was medium rare. Talk of food. <laughs> Epistemology. This is um, knowledge about words. A billabong <laughs> is a type of what? Is it A, a musical instrument? A musical instrument. What? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I agree. Or is it B, a <laughs> body of water? Or C, a bird? Or D, a gymnastics move? <laughs> it's B. Water. Yeah, once a jolly swagman camped by a billabong. What do you think he was doing <laughs> sleeping out by a piano? <laughs> although although I, would, I would like to see... I got it confused with <laughs> For, for a bonus <laughs> point, <laughs> can I say for a bonus point, I'd like to see a billabong gymnastics move <laughs> if anybody would like to demonstrate. Uh, um, now, I thought it was a didgeridoo, so that's where my mind was. <laughs> <laughs> billabong didgeridoo. Apparently, it's an Australian term for an oxbow lake. Got the country right. <laughs> the Andrew <laughs> River. Yeah. Okay. So um, that was a point to the um, the wingers. Did they know their billabongs from their didgeridoos at home? They did. Um, <laughs> Gillian actually said, I used to live in Australia, and it's like a little lake. Uh, Hayley was straight on it as well, as well as, well as Luke and Tanya. So I, I am relying a lot on people at home. I'm not going to lie here. I'm really struggling with this. So I'm glad we can use like our collective student knowledge here. <laughs> Do we know what the score is at home, more importantly? Because we're on 4-5 here in the studio. Six. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> One great. <laughs> <laughs> They're usually more ambitious in their lies at home. <laughs> we'll, we'll get there, we'll get there. <laughs> I think we've had a question from every category now, which is good. Spin it again, please, Karen. Zoology, because we're short of agnotology yeah. questions in this. Yeah. Let's be okay. Up. So. Your third zoological question, Larry, Palmerston and Gladstone are all what? Is it A, dogs? Is it B, cats? Is it C, rabbits? Or is it D... They were going to go, they were going to go. <laughs> uh, uh, no. oh, I think I heard it on the left first, no, yeah. sorry. It's, it's B, cats. Uh, specifically yeah, Downing Street cats. <laughs> Were you no, going there, there. Yeah. there? Oh. Uh, <laughs> right, move your first a little bit closer so the sound takes less long to reach my ear. <laughs> um, so Larry's the number 10 Downing Street. Is he still there now? Burjo's gone in. Oh, that was kind of yeah, well, and they the bought, they bought a dog. It's, it's got, actually yeah. probably better for him because Teresa was allergic to cats. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> so Larry's for number 10 Downing Street cat and the chief mouser in, uh, in the cabinet office a position that began in 1924 Palmerston's the chief mouser of the Foreign and Commonwealth Office and Gladstone's the chief mouser to Her Majesty's Treasury Okay. Uh, so that was a point earned so ooh, clear blue water yeah, now no 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 we can't hear any of that we're well over the billabong <laughs> 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 Did they know um, cats? <coughs> yes, I think with all our study buddies, we've got to keep up with the famous cats. And interestingly, most of those cats have Twitter accounts, so a lot of us are <laughs> keeping up to date with what they're doing on Twitter. Okay. But um, uh, Louise reckons we should uh, just have Larry for Prime Minister, which I, I think is a good idea. A cat in charge will sort everything out, won't it? <laughs> We'd yeah, best true. not comment down there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do, you to, do you ever watch one seater cat? Ninjology. Okay, Andrew. As soon as you let a cat out, he wants to come back in, doesn't he? <laughs> <laughs> um, the first person spined, first person fined for speeding was caught doing what speed? Is it A? 8 pmh. I think that's 8 mph. 8 miles an hour. Is it B? 16 miles an hour. 
Is it C, 24 miles an hour, or D, 32 miles an hour? Oh, we've got an Probably an A. A, 8 miles an hour. Yeah. Uh, oh. All right, for... No, I should have just buzzed on the eight. For 10 oh, bonus right. points, Whoa. who was the driver? <laughs> Ford. No. Henry Ford. Great no. guess. <laughs> It was a chap called Walter Arnold who was, who was pulled over and arrested in 1896 doing four times the speed limit because in those days cars could go no more than two miles an hour and it says here it had to be followed by someone on foot waving a red flag. I think it had to be in front, actually. Yes. If I, remember I think correctly it makes when I was more there. sense <laughs> for a red flag man to be in front. So I could yes. pass my test in. Oh, time. bonus, yeah. one bonus point. What was his fine? What was fine for speeding, what do you reckon? Uh, oh. Shilling? Yes! <laughs> 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 just, just, just as, a, as, as an interesting point, James, James May. Uh, was was fined for travelling at 38 miles an hour, which uh, Jeremy Clarkson wanted to know if anybody had been caught going slower and speeding, because <laughs> um, he thought that was quite... But anyway, 38 miles an hour, so it's gone up by... Last now. month I was on the speed awareness course, having been <laughs> clocked at 38 miles an hour, actually. So it can happen. Nice. Yeah. That's outrageous. <laughs> <laughs> you were just well, in that course voluntarily, Dave, of course, weren't you? <laughs> anyway, um... What happened there? Oh, they I don't know. know. They've got, oh, they've got oh, double points. We've got about points. ten minutes left as well. We so. Well, the we questions have now gone up to two points each, Ooh. which can work against you. Exactly. So yeah. spin the wheel, please. Spin that bit at home. Uh, Anna actually uh, got the answer. She did knew it was uh, Walter Arnold, and uh, oh, she reckons what? that's... That's ten bonus points for us, definitely. Oh, <laughs> that's Etymology. Etymology. Right, words. The word shampoo stems from which language? Is it A, Arabic, B, Hindi, C, Italian, or D, Swedish? Was it A? A, Arabic. No. I can't remember it was, but D. <laughs> no, Swedish. Yes. No. 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 Well, too late. No. What? <laughs> Every single answer we've no got. No points on. scored here. <laughs> do they know at home? <laughs> what are they saying at home? Uh, we do reckon Hindi. So uh, Hindi. Dean, Libby, Ross, uh, Tanya, straight in there, reckon Hindi. I get it right. Yeah. It comes from the word for the daily hair cleansing and body massage, champoo, which mm -hmm. was brought to Europe by traders in India. Mm -hmm. But what, the shampoo or the practice, I don't Anyway, <laughs> or the word, whatever. So uh, they've earned a point at home. Nobody here has earned a point. What are we on to now? Have you spun it while I won't No, sorry. I should, I should be... Oh, epistemology. Epistemology. What did Eratosthenes measure very accurately? Was it A... The length of a month? Was it B, the size of the Earth? Was it C, the distance to the moon? Or D, the length of a year? The length of a year is one year. I mean. <laughs> 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 so it's not that one. <laughs> well, <I'm just> B. <laughs> On my right? B, Earth. Yes. Hey, Andrew. Yeah. <laughs> Shock horror. Go, Andrew. Two points. You can yeah. well, this again. Yeah. Well, <laughs> we were just debating. Yeah. It was definitely planetary, we decided. <laughs> <laughs> he measured the sun overhead in Alexandria, and there's a place, oh. Syene, further yes. south in Egypt, yeah. at, the, at the summer solstice, when it was overhead at the equator, and, the diff and he never... It was shining straight down the well, not the summer solstice. Yes, it's midsummer, midsummer's day, 23 degrees north equator. Sunlight goes straight down the well, but casts a shadow further north Alexandria at noon. And you can measure the distance over land between those two towns. And looking at the angle, you can work out the circumference of the earth. He did a very good job. 
This quiz has been brought to you by the Planetary and Geology Department at the Open <laughs> University. <laughs> 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 Who are world class? Who are world class in their field? It, yes. it was within 1% of a true answer in, in 240 That's BC. Of course, he didn't know he was in 240 <laughs> BC. But <laughs> right, are we all on the Do they know point? about Eratosthenes <laughs> measuring the um, size of the Earth? Uh, well, Nicola, Paul, Maxwell and Hannah straight in there measuring the size of the Earth. So, so I think uh, they're starting off or they're through their science module, so they definitely have been paying attention here. <laughs> it's not science, it's general knowledge. <laughs> I mean, not for me. C.P. <laughs> Snow will be turning in his grave. Regurgitation, that's what we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> Shouldn't have eaten so much in the green room. That's agonatology. Santa Claus gets his modern red look. I think it's referring to his clothing, not his nose. From advertisements for, is it A, Ford, B, Coca-Cola, C, Mineral Water, or D, Magazine? It's B, it's Coca-Cola. No, you Ooh. fell into the trap. Oh, no. Is it not Coca-Cola? Mineral Water, Magazine. Mineral Magazine. D, Magazine. Yeah. Uh, uh, apparently, Santa Claus, as we know him today, featured on several covers of the Puck magazine well before being used by Coca-Cola during the early 1900s. Um, I've got Andrew. something to admit. I was going to go for Coca-Cola, but you beat me to it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I should say it. No, don't say that. No, just think that in the game. We'll, we'll take that out in the edit as well. Did they fall for the Coca-Cola We trap? did trip up on that one. Um, Athanasia did say, no, it's a trap, but we just didn't know what else it could be. <laughs> and that's eight all, all of a sudden. It is. Ooh. So two points at stake for the next one. Thank you, Dave. Pantology. Pantology. Which of the following is not a Romance language? A. French. B. Italian. C. German. D. Portuguese. C. German. Yes. And why did you have to wait to find out what D was going to be? I know. Well, I just want to say, I'm 100% sure that my master's in linguistics from 25 years ago was useful. Yeah. German is, in fact, a Germanic <laughs> language. Yeah. Did they know that at home? Uh, Paul was straight in there. He knew it was a Germanic language. Gillian as well, and Ingrid, just because it's in the name. Yeah. Does that mean the leader's now changed? It has. Swung. OK, well, it's, it's still, still two points in it. Where are we now? Uh, Nymtology, there we are. <laughs> What is the name of the Spartan king who married Helen of Troy? Is it A, Aristophanes? Is it B, Cicero? Is it C, Menelaus? Or D, Euripides? Go on. D, D. Euripides. He didn't rip anything. <laughs> 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 C. And apart from not being Cicero, who was C? C was Mana Manus. Brother of Agamemnon. Yes, right answer. Well done. Two points. Well done, John. Aristophanes, Cicero, and Euripides were all classical authors. Cicero was Roman, not Greek. That's two points. Well, you fortunately... What was it about a billabong, Finlay? <laughs> <laughs> fortunately for the wingers, answers are now worth four, four points. points. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, Anna, can you stop shouting in the chat, please? <laughs> <laughs> have we landed up? No, we haven't. Well, no, I haven't done that yet. Sorry, I've been too busy doing scores. And Anna, right. Agonatology. Agonatology. Last one. Last one. Goldfish have a memory span... Of how long? Is it A seconds? Is it A seconds? No. Nope. <laughs> it's a myth, that three second myth. Is it B oh, hours? Is it C months or D years? Pink Floyd, let me down. I think it's years. I think it's years. 
No, no points earned in the studio. What do they reckon at home? Well, a lot of us, Tala, Tanya, um, Libby and uh, Nicola did reckon it was A seconds as well. And um, Maxwell and Louise did say it's a bit of a trick, this one. Uh, Maxwell does reckon it's either month or years, but we're not kind of pinned down on one. <laughs> It, it's, it's months. <laughs> it's months. Have they checked? I mean, I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, do you, do you remember this? No? <laughs> <laughs> How many times have you seen a goldfish looking genuinely surprised to suddenly see a castle <laughs> inside its <laughs> bowl? I mean, they do remember. That's true. They so, go back to their regular no, feeding places and their regular hiding places. and Yeah. yeah. Goldfish have a brain approximately 380,000 times smaller than that of a human baby. 380,000? That's incredible. Minuscule. That's what it says here, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> my, my friend who was a vet, she was work, doing, working on a sheep and they dropped the brain and they couldn't find it because the sheep's brain apparently is smaller than a pea. No. <laughs> <laughs> I've eaten the sheep's brain in oh, Iceland. Than a pea, then. And it's. Yeah. Seriously? Well, I'll Half a sheep's brain, actually. In the supermarket, Iceland. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got thrown out. <laughs> Did you bring and the sheep's brain to Iceland <laughs> specifically to eat Honestly, it? Honestly, smoked sheep's brain. Delicious. Vegetarian. Oh, anyway, <laughs> skin <spin> weird. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Zoology. What does what does sheep's brain taste like? <laughs> okay, here's, here's a genuine question. For, uh, four points at stake here. In the US, for a chicken to be free range, it must spend a minimum of how much time outdoors? I think this is, this is each day. Is it A, five minutes? Is it B, 20 minutes? C, 45 minutes? Or D, 60 minutes. You're joking. Oh, just so we can at yeah, least yes. get yeah. B, yeah. 20 minutes. Nope. Ooh. A, five minutes. Yeah. You're That's joking. Five no, no. I hope, I hope it's That's every... Four points. Uh, four points. I hope it's five minutes every day, not five minutes in its entire life, because it doesn't actually That's specify it. That is a four That is a four How much is it in this country? The U OK, actually, I don't... It, you, the U.S. Department of Agriculture defines free range as only applying to chickens. It has a loose definition, meaning the chickens must have access to the outdoors for, for an undetermined period each day, with usual practice being a minimum of five minutes. And the question did say must spend a minimum time, yeah, so yeah. you can get away with five, five minutes and still call it free range. That's pretty appalling. Well, I'm going to look at what it is in England. Cause okay. That's terrible. Yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah, don't get me on the chicken farm. No, no. Spin that. Do they know that at home? Have we do done that? Well, we were hoping it wasn't going to be five yeah, minutes, but well, some people did get. They were actually really upset at this question. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it is an absolute question. Oh, I talked with John Allen um, about uh, this whole issue, and there was this whole challenge about you know whether it's better to feed people protein or have chickens and farms. It's a really, mm. it's, it's a lot more mm. complex actually. It'll be different out of different countries as well. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> OK, this is going to be worth six points now, oh, which isn't going to level it, but it's going to make it closer. It's etymology again. The term brainwashing first came into use in English during which war? Was it A, the Gulf War, 1990 to 91, B, the Korean War, 1950 to 53, C, the Third Afghan War, 1919, or D, the Second Boer War, 1902? B, the Gulf, uh, Korean War. The Korean War, correct. Ooh. Well, Six I'm points. Say yeah. It came from a Chinese word used to explain why during the Korean War some prisoners of war cooperated in some cases defected for Chinese. And we're nearly Ooh. out of okay. time, Dave. We're nearly so out of time. Would, uh, better be a big scoring next <laughs> question. <laughs> yeah, OK. Well, the next question is worth 14 points. <laughs> <laughs> And appropriately, and epistemology. epistemology. The source of knowledge. Mm. What is FE on the periodic table? <laughs> oh. 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 I, I knew this was. Well. Can I just give a shout out to 
shout out to Sarah who should have been here today and she's poorly and her son thought he'd done very well on a chemistry exam. He said, Mum, I put down um, NA all the way through for sodium. No, SO. He put down SO. No, you put SO, that's right. You put SO for sodium. Oh, right. Anyway, come on with the iron. Yes, give us the letters of the iron. What is what is FE? A, B, C, or D? Well, I mean, it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> it does matter. Just hold that up. Yeah, I'll go with that one. It's a lovely letter. We thought we'd pick it. <laughs> so, it's A, gold, B, fluorine, C, iron, oh. or D, iron. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> so, isn't this exciting? Is there time for one more question? It's a tie. Yeah, we can. Oh, I'll do the points after. How many points was that? 14. It's a draw. It's a draw. It's right. I told you we were <laughs> winging it. <laughs> Oh, this is like my last TMA. You didn't ah, win your last well, TMA. Well, actually, no, I didn't we did decide if it ended in a draw, we'd have to settle it with a dance-off. Oh, okay. oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> right, team yeah. captains yeah. only. Yeah. 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 Shall we just do another question? Oh, yeah. Another oh, question. No, but for one point... Come on, for one point... <laughs> Zoology. Zoology. Is this the final question? I don't know how we're doing for time. I think so, yeah. The final question. The Crikey Stiver Weenie. S -S <laughs> what? Or Steve Irwini. S T E V E. What? I'll, I'm a, I'm a, I'll spell it out. The Crikey Steve Irwini. C R I C K E Y, as in Crikey. 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 Steve Irwin, it's S T E V E I R W I N I, is a rare species of what? <laughs> oh! <laughs> hey, sausage. It's not an important question to get. Okay. Don't worry. I'll put for, for one point, you could win this. Is it A, a frog? B, Snail, C caterpillar, or D beetle. <laughs> Giggle over there. We're going to try C. <laughs> C being. I forgot. A caterpillar. A caterpillar. <laughs> C for caterpillar. Just no. C for caterpillar. <laughs> a species of tree snail discovered in 2009 with a khaki appearance, named after the discovering named by the discovering scientist after Steve Irwin. Who was the crocodile oh. hunter? Is that the one who was eaten by a crocodile? Yeah, yeah. So the answer is B, snail. And I, I, I shouldn't, I shouldn't have called it. I should, I, I should have read it, pronounced Steve it differently. Irwin. It's Steve Irwini, named Steve after Steve Irwin. Irwin. Oh. Anyway, that's why I spelled it. Dance so it's really. named after Steve Irwin. So the scores are still tied. <laughs> And we've we've like got a, a workshop as well, which everyone can attend about reading the question properly. <laughs> 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 you are a really useful hour of your time. Well, no, shall we have one quick, quick, quick? quick oh, OK, we're we'll deciding uh, questions. Otherwise. Yeah, go on, go for it. Where are we? Take, oh. Zoology yeah, again. Yeah. OK. Which of the following is not an arachnid? Ooh. A, tick. B, spot. A, tick. No, B spider. Which of the following is not an arachnid? I don't think a a tick, B spider, C beetle, D mite. C. Which is a beetle, which is not an arachnid? Yes. Correct, a beetle is not an arachnid. Point to the wingers. You've well and truly won it, but I'm not even going to do is it. Is that 23, <laughs> 23 points to 22? Oh, and did round. they, did they, sorry, did they know about the crikey Steve Irwini being a Some, snail? So, <laughs> a, a, a... Some of us did in the chat. Uh, Hayley said 100% a land snail. And I'm quoting Louise, because I don't want to be mean. My weird pet-owning sister says snail. <laughs> <laughs> but um, we, uh, we reckon, Ingrid reckons um, beetles have six legs, and Hayley says it's to do with uh, the amount of legs that makes an arachnid. Yes. Yeah. And Hayley also says winner, winner, chicken dinner. 
Can I just say, I knew that one, I knew that it wasn't a tick, because I read a book called How Many Legs with a Five-Year-Old. And <laughs> when we got up to eight, there was a tick and a spider yeah, right. and several other things, but no beetle. So, you know, oh, beetles, you are learning beetles, is so bad. Beetles, beetles yes. yes, learning is so bad. Yes. Life okay. learning. Yes. Right. <laughs> well, thank you very much to our team. Thank you, HJ, for keeping everyone at home uh, up to speed with everything in the studio here. Thank you very much, Dave, as well, for being yes, as fabulous as normal. Yeah, we're welcome. <laughs> It's normally a, a, a giant cup to present to the winners, yeah, no, but it's not here this year. It's not, and it's so... Well, it's so... Came to, it didn't home win anyway. Oh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. We, we reckon about 35 points. There's a, there's a bit of a debate, but I think, I think we won. That's why the cup's not well, here. Well, well done, team. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe so we live and learn. Maybe we'll do that for February then when we'll have our next quiz. Well, thank you everyone so much for playing along. It's been a really good use of an hour. I think we've all learned something uh, and that's been a lot of fun. Thank you at home for watching. And we're going to be back live from 6 o'clock till 9 o'clock tonight. And we've got a packed programme tomorrow also that you're most welcome to come and join us at. Um, we're going to break the stream, which means that you'll need to refresh your browser to come back in. Um, and uh, of course, you can watch all of the events that we've had uh, earlier today on Catch Up very soon afterwards on live stream and we'll edit those and put them on our Student Hub Live YouTube channel which you can subscribe to and we've also got a little mailing list so that you can find out about all of the uh, great events we've got like reading the question um, and time management and all sorts of things like that that you'd be most welcome to join us for. Hope you've enjoyed today's programme. Let us know if there's anything that uh, you'd like to ask that we haven't yet covered. Just email studenthub at open.ac.uk and uh, we'll pass it over to our colleagues and get them to find you the right answer because I think uh, we were doing that earlier this morning and that was, that was really useful. Okay, we'll see you back at six and uh, enjoy the rest of your afternoon. Bye for now.